I'm going to continue playing my Nightmare Socket campaign, playing the Passage of the Marshes. Fourth, when a location in the staging area is explored, raise each player's threat by X, where X is the location's Meyer value. Each player may change heroes without incurring a plus one threat penalty. Each player shuffles one copy of Searching Eye into their deck. Remove each burden with the following burden icons from the encounter deck and each player's deck. The searching eye acts like a player card. After you draw the searching eye, either exhaust each hero you control or reveal the top card of the encounter deck. And we're playing a Three Hunters version for deck one with Eowyn, Haldir of Lorien, and Eomer. And the Frodo we're choosing for this quest is from the Land of Shadow. So it's this box. 2122 two, two. Hobbit Ring Bearer. Action. Spend one fellowship resource and exhaust the one ring to give Frodo, Frodo plus two willpower and plus two attack until the end of the round. And deck two is still an evil deck. With Spirit Leg Loss, Tactics Glorfindel, and Grimbior in the Old. Starting threat for deck one is ten, nineteen, twenty five. And deck two is thirty two.
we've got our Overcome by Grief. And Gandalf's Delay. One A. Put Gollum into play. Engage with the first player. Each player searches the encounter deck for one location, reveal it, and add it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. So we got Gollum. 30 engagement cost. 2, 2, 2, 5. Immune to non fellowship. Player card effects. Gollum engages the first player. Forced. After Gollum engages the first player during the refresh phase, he makes an attack. Forced. When Gollum is defeated, flip him to Smeagol and exhaust Smeagol. And the two locations we're going to pick are the Evil Smelling Fens, Three Threat, Four Quest Points, Mire Three, Forced. When Evil Smelling Fens is discarded by the Mire keyword, deal one damage to each character. Travel. Each player raises their threat by one to travel here. And the Meyer keyword is at the end of each round, you place one resource on each location in the staging area. And then you have resources equal to the Meyer value. You discard the location and do the forced effect. And then soft Meyer. Two threat. Four quest points, Meyer one, forced. When Soft Myers is discarded by the Meyer keyword, its first player reveals the top card of the encounter deck. And each player has to raise the threat by one to travel here. So the key, if you don't want to get your locations explored, is to travel to the location with the lowest Meyer value each round, unless there's a, one that you need to get rid of. One B. Six quest points. The players cannot advance unless the first player controls Smeagol. Forced. After a player declares any number of attackers against Gollum, discard the top card of the encounter deck. Gollum gets plus X defense for this attack. X is the discarded card's threat. Draw our opening hands. Calabrian Stone. Dagger of Westerness, Dagger of Westerness, Round Shield, Round Shield, and a Foe Hammer. Five Restricted Attachments. We'll keep this hand. Deck two, Test of Will, Descendant of Thurandir, Wing Guardian, Hands Upon the Bow, Land Revol, and a War Axe. We'll keep this hand as well.
you know, spend one leadership resource and put slavery and stone onto Eowyn. Put a dagger westerness onto Eomer. Dagger of Westerness onto Haldir. A round shield onto Frodo and a Round shield onto Awen. Protect two. We'll put a war axe onto Grimbjorn the Old. Now we're going to quest. There is five in the staging area. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, candle bear. Great Reed Thicket. That added five. We broke even. We're going to spend now we're going to travel to the evil smelling fen and we raise each of us a raise our threat by one. I'm traveling to that one because it deals one damage to each character, even if it might have three Mire tokens. This one just replaces itself. Now engagement. We'll engage the candle bear. We're going to block Gollum with Aomer. Put the topmost undead enemy in the encounter discard pile into the staging area. There's no enemies in the discard pile. Take no damage. 
I'm going to block with Grimbiorn the Old. Remove the Shadow card. And you take one damage. And then attack back and deal three damage, four damage. With Grimbiorn's ability. Now we're going to attack with Haldir and destroy the Candle Bear. And we're going to raise our threat by three and attack with Eowyn and Legolas for three, 13 against Gollum. And we discard to zero. So Gollum is defeated. And we got Smeagol. If you quest on successfully, he flips back to Gollum. End of the round, he played up Mire tokens. This one's explored. The Mire value, so we got to replace it. Pale faces. Go to the next round. Flight of the Eagles. We're going to put Wing Guardian into play. And now we're going to play a Flight of the Eagles and return it back to our hand. The shuffle of Eagles of the North into the encounter deck. And that's removed from the game. Oh, we would have also played the... Oh, we didn't have any weapons. I guess we did. I'm not... I mean, the dagger. Okay, we're going to put a fast hitch onto Frodo. Put a spear of the mark onto Aomer. Now questing. I'm going to quest for one, two, three. Four, five. Six. And spend one resource to deal four damage to the pale faces. And then six more, twelve. And there is four in the staging area. Stagnant pools. And a 
Eagles of the North. That will discard this Pale Faces. And we'll take control of Eagles of the North. And it's got Surge. Another Pale Faces. So there's three, four, five, six, seven. Quest successfully by five. That clears the eel smelling fens and puts one progress on the main quest. All right, Thoth Smeagol to travel to the Great Reed Thicket. Now we're going to gauge the pale faces. We're going to block this Grimby arm. We have to raise our threat by four and remove this shadow card. And then we'll attack back for three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and it's destroyed. Go to the next round. Spear of the Mark. Now we're going to put a Fellowship of the Ring onto Frodo. So all heroes get plus one willpower. Over to deck two, Flight of the Eagles. Now we're three, four in the staging area, because this gets plus one threat for each Meyer token on it. So we got seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Golem's Rage, Peril. When revealed, deal Golem's Rage to Golem as a face down shadow card if able. We're not able to because he's Smeagol. Evil smelling fens. And a candlelit pool. Flat add seven. So the quest successfully by one, two, three, four, five. That clears this and puts two progress here. Now we're going to exhaust Smeagol to travel to the stagnant pools. A 
At the end of the round, we put up Meyer tokens. Fellowship of the Ring. And a Thor's Key. We play a Thor's Key. Now uh, you can travel to a location. Now quest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eighteen against seven. Festering Mire. Another Festering Mire. That added ten. So you quest successfully by one. Going to use Frodo's ability. Spend one of his resources and get plus two. So he put three progress on the active location. Now we go to the next round. Well, with a Galadrium, puts that on to Haldir. Vassal of the Windlord. Gonna put out a lander ball. Vassal of the Windlord. And then play another Flight of the Eagles and bring this back to our hand. Shuffle another Eagles of the North into the encounter deck.
requesting. Request for seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, and discard a card. To ready up Haldir. And there is 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17 in the staging area. Or also add Smeagol to make it 27. And Haldir. And land roll to make it 28. Card one, we hate them. Hoof Smeagol to Gollum, or Gollum makes an attack. The first player may spend one resource and exhaust the one ring to cancel this effect. So we'll spend the one resource. Cancel its effect. Rotten Sings. And Eagles of the North. Comes into play, we discard an enemy. So we have no threat. So we quest successfully by 11. That puts 8 here. And 3 out of the main quest. And we Go to the next stage. Two A. When revealed, if the number of locations in the staging area is less than the number of players, discard a card from the encounter deck until the location is discarded. Then add that location to the staging area. We have four locations, so we're fine. 2B, 12 quest points. Progress not be placed on locations in the staging area. The players advan cannot advance unless they have Smeagol and at least four locations in the victory display. Fourth, at the end of the staging step, if the number of locations in the staging area is less than the number of players, reveal the top card of the encounter deck. And we have three locations in the staging area right now. And now travel. Uh, what's worse, getting two enemies or discarding, dealing one damage to each character in play? Or 
we're going to discard Sora's map. And now I can explore, choose a location in the staging area and make it the active location. We're going to make this candle bearers the active location. And all these will go away at the end of the round. So at the end of the round, these two are discarded. We have to discard our hand. And this is discarded and we have to deal one damage to each character in play. We do get a flipper contract because we have two restricted attachments on each of our heroes. So we'll exhaust the contract to heal up one damage from each of our heroes. And we get plus one willpower for each restricted attachment. Unexpected Courage. And over here we have a Bow of the Galadrium. We're going to put an Unexpected Courage onto Grimbjorn and a Bow of the Galadrium onto Haldir. And they're no longer have a discount because we have flipped a contract. Now, questing. There is zero in the staging area. So we're going to quest for four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twenty, twenty five, hard one, rotten thing, hard two, creeping marshes, doom one, surge. We attach it to the current quest, and when, when we put out Mire tokens, we put out an extra Mire token to each location, and then discard it. And a mortal race. So that added eight. So we quest successfully by 17. That clears the active location by five for five, and that's 12 left over, and that clears the current quest. And we go to oh, oh, at the end of the staging step, we have to put a location.
because we don't have enough locations. Stagnant pools. So we clear this and put nine here. Now we're going to use Smeagol to travel to the stagnant pool. Now engagements, we only need to engage this one. Attacking for six. He can snipe for one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to snipe this guy. But it's 11. Oh, it's Pierce 2. So he's gone. And now go to the next round. This is discarded and there's no locations to put Meyer tokens on. Firefoot. And a hasty stroke. Now we're not going to play anything in questing. Spend one resource and attack the Morgul race for nine. So it doesn't, puts five damage on him. So that's three, four, five, ten, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen twenty to one twenty two against four. Because he has plus one because of his restricted attachment. Candle bearer. Great Reeve Sicket. Now we have to reveal one extra of a candlelit fool. So that's four, six, seven, eight, nine. So 23. Or 13. So we quest successfully by nine. That puts it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that seven goes here. So it's six more. Uh, thir uh, 13, we quest successfully by nine. So it's two more go here. Now the travel phase. We're going to travel to the Great Reef Thicket or the Great the Candlelit Pool. We're going to travel to the Great Reef Second Exhausting 
Gollum. We engage the candle, the candle bearer. And then we're going to use Haldir's ability to snipe him. And go to the next round. Thoringill and a Valiant Sword. We're going to put Thorngill onto Legolas. After you attach, after you attach Thorngill to a hero, search your collection for a different non-fellowship, non-Baggins version of that hero and attach it to Thorngill. While Thorngill is in play, Attached Hero gains the game text and resource icon of Attached Hero card. And if Thoringal leaves play, remove the hero card attached to it from the game. So we're going to get the tactics version of, Lorf of Legolas. So when you destroy an enemy, you can put two progress on the main quest. I'm going to spend one to give Legolas the Valiant Sword, because he's noble. And he gets plus two because he's 40 threat or higher. And spend two to give Firefoot to Grimbjorn the Old. It's plus one. When he attacks alone, you can do excess damage to a enemy engaged with you. He gets plus two because he got the War Axe. Now we're going to quest. We're going to spend one and destroy this Morgul race. Now we're questing for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, nineteen against four. Rotten Vapors. Each player must choose. Either raise your threat by one. For each qu questing character you control or deal one damage to each character you control. I'll raise my threat by one for each questing character here. So one. Oh, I forgot when it was my turn, I healed, I used my contract. So then I'll deal one damage to each of my characters. Because once each turn you can exhaust this card to heal one damage to each of your heroes. And 
here, we'll raise the threat by one. I will just deal the damage and then use our contract to heal up later. So that was card one. Card two, Peril Surge. Uh, there's Golems not in play, so that's Surge. Shifting Quagmire, that surges. Flips Smeagol to Golem and he makes, and the first player may spend one resource and exhaust a ring. We're going to spend one resource and exhaust a ring. Surge. Evil smelling fens. Okay, so we don't need to reveal any extra cards because we have two locations. So that's a total of three, seven, eight. So we quest successfully by 11. That clears the active location and we go to the next stage. Three A. Don't look at the lights. Each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for an undead enemy and puts it into play, engage with them. Shuffle the encounter deck. And then shuffle each location in the victory display into the encounter deck. Get a candle lit pool or candle lit, a candle bearer. Gonna get a pale faces. And then we shuffle all these into the encounter deck. Three B. Twenty four quest points. This stage cannot be defeated unless the first player contro controls Smeagol. If this player is defeated, the players win the game. And while any player is engaged with an undead enemy, progress cannot be placed on this stage. And we're going to travel. to the evil smelling fens. Raise our threat by one. We'll block with Grimbjorn. And discard this. And then 
we'll just spend a resource and attack back and he's gone. And here he's going to attack or he'll block it with Grimbior in the old, no shadow. And we raise our threat by four. Now we're going to attack back for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Destroy it and put two progress on the active location. Put out the Meyer tokens. This one's explored. And we have to raise our threat by one for each location in the victory display, and there's no locations in the victory display. Well, we're going to heal up our heroes. Elrond's Council, and a Steward of Gondor. Spend two resources to put a Steward of Gondor on the Grimbjorn the Old. We're going to heal, use our contract to heal up one damage. Now we're going to quest 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 34, 35, and play an Oron's console, make it 36. Reduce our threat by three. And we'll make that thirty seven. Now we're going to discard a card to ready up Grimbjorn. So 37 against 4. Rotten Things. And a great read second. That added 6. So it's, it's 10. So we quest successfully by 27, 26, this is explored, and we put 26 progress here, and that explores it and wins the game. So I would say the MVPs, one of them was the Fellowship, so that will be here. And two over here, I would say, was the Flight of the Eagles. Because that was able to knock out two enemies and give us plus four willpower every round. And now we come to the resolutions. Each player must choose either take a permanent plus two starting threat penalty or earn one copy of the searching eye 
Record each player's choice in the campaign log. And here's the searching eye. We're going to take the searching eye. So this only stays with us while we're with Frodo. Uh, 